What's the difference between sales receipts and invoices in QuickBooks Online? They are both issued when a customer makes a purchase from your business. But a sales receipt is issued when the customer makes the payment at the time of the transaction. But if the customer purchases the product on credit, you issue them an invoice. Let's see how this works in QuickBooks Online. Once you have logged into your QuickBooks Online account, you can go to the new menu and select sales receipt from the customers section. Here, you can enter the customer name and if you have stored the information for the customer in your uh, QuickBooks Online account, then all of it will be up updated automatically. Then you can enter in tags if you want to classify this information. You can select a mode of payment. You can select the type of account you are depositing it to. And then you can select the product, the service, the product or service, input a description, quantity, rate, and if there's an applicable tax to be paid on this, you can also input a discount percent. and select a sales tax rate. Once you have added all the required information, you can click on save and send. Creating an invoice is similar. You go to the new menu and select invoice from the customer section. You can then select the customer. Uh, the information will be updated automatically. Now here's a difference that you need to know. The terms section defines the number of days in which the customer has to make the payment to your business. So net 10 means that the customer has to make the payment in 10 days and net 30 means that the customer has to make the payment in 30 days. Again, you can apply tags to categorize your uh, transaction. Then enter in the product or service type. Uh, then you can update the quantity, apply taxes, apply a discount percent. And, and if you want to attach a document, you can do so here for extra information. And once you have verified all of the information, you can click on save and send. And finally, send and close. So this was a quick tutorial on the differences between sales receipt and invoices. If you have any further questions, you can check out our channel and subscribe to it for more information.